Do you make feathers that just turn out looking a little bit floppy and flumpy? Well, have no fear, because Nefertiti is here to share a fantastic tip to make those feathers fantastically rigid and beautifully detailed. Follow along, and I'll show exactly how to do it. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need some of this stuff. This is called feather light boning, and it's a type of material that's most commonly used when making corsets. It has a thick plastic in the center and a bit of a fabric sleeve on the outside. What I'm going to be doing is using this to stabilize the core of the feather. I just have some thick, heavyweight fabric interfacing here that is bondable on one side. I cut a length of the boning that will match the rough length of the feather, and then I'm going to pull back the sleeve of it a little bit here and cut off about an inch or so of the plastic portion, but not the sleeve. Once this is removed, I can go ahead and stuff the rest of that back into there, and I should be left with two little flaps on the top and bottom that are nice and soft and have no plastic inside them. I'm now going to move to my sewing machine using the zipper foot on the inside setting, and I'm just going to stitch that boning to the feather. This is why it was important to cut off that first top so that I could make room to be able to sew the top and bottom firmly onto this feather. It results in a much more rigid and fantastic shape that will give us a good basis to work off of. If, like me, you're going to be using Minky for this project, make sure that you note the direction the Minky is going. You always want the fibers to point towards the tips. So in this case here, because my fabric is pointing downward with the fibers, I need to make sure all my feathers point the same way. Trace all the patterns for however many feathers you have, and then go ahead and pin the heck out of it because Minky is a shifty, slidey material that really likes to move around when you're sewing it. When sewing on these pieces, there's one more thing to note. If you're doing these cut out edges here for the more detailed feather option, when you go to round this corner, instead of doing it as a point, try to do more of a U shape on the sewing machine. This will make it so that it will lay far more flat when you cut it out. Now, when cutting these edges, be very, very careful that you don't cut too deeply and cut through your stitching. This will help this whole feather lay much more flat, and when you turn it inside out, everything lines up properly. Go ahead and now insert your feather boning, making sure that the thick part with that little boning that we sewn in is going to be on the top half, and then sew all along the inside edge to create that nice ridge that the feather quills often have in real life. Again, just using a straight stitch on my machine, and I'm sewing in a couple more minor details such as the little spines of the feathers, just to make it look a little bit more fancy. When you're finished, you should have something like this. Just whip stitch or ladder stitch it to the head or wherever you're gonna put it, and there you go.